What's up guys, how's it going? Today, I'm going to show you how to replace your steering wheel on your BMW. As far as I know, the same basic steps are used on almost every single BMW. So, I am upgrading my BMW 08-128i's steering wheel from the Sport maybe just the regular steering wheel, to the M Sport steering wheel. So I got this on eBay for a total of $150. And a couple people I know actually have this type of steering wheel in their car already. And I know that I like the feel a lot better than what I have currently. So this is what we are going to be swapping in. So you can see it's not in the best condition, but I think I may later get a faceplate to swap on here also. So let's go to the car and begin installation. So in your car, you've got your existing steering wheel, and on each side, you can see a little dimple in the leather. I've done this a couple times, so mine is more pronounced. There's a little dimple and slit in the leather that you can see there and on the other side here. So basically, I'll put it on the screen now, what we're going to need to do is use the flathead screwdriver, put it through, and there's like a spring, but it's just like a metal bar like that, that it's going to push and release the plastic clips holding this in. But the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery because we do not want the airbag going off. So for this, you're going to lift up the flap in your trunk. And it's a 10 millimeter. We are just going to unscrew the negative battery terminal. Just need to loosen it up. And it'll pull right off. Then just tuck it somewhere where it won't come into contact with any other metal. Oh, my car does have a lock for the trunk, manual unlock, but if yours doesn't, I'm just going to want to put a rag or microfiber or something there to keep it from closing. Because if it closes and your battery is disconnected, you'll have to drill a hole in the trunk and that wouldn't be nice. So I'm going to start on the right side here. I'm going to take your flathead. should be pointed this way, not this way. This will make it come much easier. We're going to stick it in and you'll feel an obstacle right there. Just gonna go directly behind it. You'll feel the spring. Just push in. And you'll see the airbag on this side pop out just like that. Don't worry, it won't be going in there easily. So, let's move on to the next side. And so, again, we're gonna do it on this side. Just find the slit. Push it in. It'll be directly behind while you hit first. And pull out. So now, the airbag is disconnected, just going to pull up, just going to pull it out, and you'll see these two clips here, the black and green, and for these, you're just going to come around to this side, put your flat head in, pull up, and it pulls right off, and it's the same for this side. Alright, airbag is removed now, time to uninstall the steering wheel. Now we're going to do these two plugs here. This one you can probably get your finger in, there's a little tab at the top that you need to pull. And for the second one, you can also use your fingers, might be a tiny bit difficult. There we go. And this is a 16 millimeter, and we're simply just going to unscrew. If you find it difficult, try turning the steering wheel all the way to the left, and then continue. Alright, now our bolt's out. And we can simply pull out. There is our old steering wheel removed. Alright, and we've got a new M wheel here. I did order a badge that has N52 though. 
um, since this doesn't even have the actual M Sport package. But you may have also noticed that this doesn't have the paddle shifters that the old one did. I might at some point try DIY swapping them. Don't know if it's the best idea, but we are going to try it. So to line it up here, you'll see that there's a little notch right there and a little flat in the part. This makes it so there's only one right way to put it on. And on the steering wheel, you will see the flat portion as well. So you're just going to slide it on, like so. Alright, time to screw our bolt back in. And on this BMW, we need to tighten it to 48 foot-pounds. And I'm actually going to turn the steering wheel a bit for this. There we go. Alright, now since the wheel is connected to the car, we just need to plug in all our wires and install the airbag. These just click in like this. Gonna plug in your black and green cables here, there's only one right way. And now for the airbag, we are just going to push it in, like so. Now I'm just going to reconnect the battery. And let's make sure our buttons work now. Our air recirculation works. Channel switcher works. Everybody. Input works. Working people, you know, who Everybody. Really Input works. Well, who go to school during the day and they're in fraternities. Volume button works. Call button works. And voice entry button works. So, that's how to change the steering wheel on your BMW. Again, this works on almost every BMW. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the very next video. Bye.